we are going to talk about a Bengal Tigress Machli and a famous cinematographer Subay Nala Muthu. Machli was a Bengal Tigress who lived in Ranthambore National Park in India. Born on May 1996 and died 18 August 2016, Savai Madhupur. Subay Nala Muthu is is a cinematographer director producer um, nala muthu is a leading wildlife filmmaker from india he specialized in cinematography from ftit chennai and later worked as a high speed cameraman with indian space research organization nala muthu also made a documentary on machli T-16. That was the official name given to Machli, the Royal Bengal Tigress, in the Ranthambore National Park in Rajasthan. But nobody addressed her by the number. Soon after she was discovered, she was named Machli, fish, because the fish-shaped mark on the left side of her face. Her fans and the forest officials gave this powerful huntress many other names too. Lady of the Lake, Tigress Queen of Ranthambore and Crocodile Killer. Born in May 1996, Machli started hunting at the age of two. Soon afterwards, she took away parts of her mother's territory and spent the reign there. She gave birth to 11 cubs in all her relationship with tigers. She was the domineering partner and she was fiercely protective of her cubs. In addition of living much longer, 20 years, than most other wild tigress which usually live about 15 years, she defended her territory and over and over against much larger male tigers. Labelled as the most photographed tigress in the world, Machli was not only beautiful but was also a powerful entity. She ruled over 350 square mile territory which included the Ranthambore Palace, lakes and a fort with domes and chitris as shelter and lakes under her control. Machli ruled Ranthambore. In her prime, she was an astute and brave hunter, beating back challenges from bigger and stronger tigers. What made Machli so special was her comfort level with humans. She held photographers in awe of her grace and smartness. She did not hesitate in taking advantage of tourist vehicle to stalk and hunt of her prey. Photographers even suspected that she enjoyed the attention she received. Speaking to an audience in Delhi, wildlife filmmaker Nala Muthu said that Machli was once the unquestioned queen of Ranthambur fort and mother of a rare four litters. I had to condense close to 400 hours of footage to make sure I did not miss important events in her life, he said. These include a two-minute showdown with her ambitious daughter Sundari, the combat ending in Machli losing control of her bastion and Machli's former mate, also old and infirm, joining her during her final years, in what almost seems an act of championship. Her bloodline lives in her daughters and sons, some of whom challenged her le- uh, leadership and even snatched her kills, said Nala Muthu. A series of incidents about her has been documented. One of these was her fight with the 14 feet long crocodile that caught the attention of everyone. It created history and was reported internationally. According to those who were present at the spot, she swelled and twisted the massive reptile and broke its neck in an exceptional act of bravery. She lost three of her canine teeth, important weapons for a big cat, but raised three cubs even after the loss. The story of her tenacity and fighting spirit spread and Ranthambore National Park became a favorite among wildlife enthusiasts who said it was a waste of time if they were not able to cite her. The extraordinary popularity of Machli helped the Indian government earn nearly US $100 million between 1998 and 2009. Fans launched a Facebook page on her which collected lakhs and lakhs of followers. Machli has been the subject of documentaries and short films, journals, books and research papers on wildlife. Nadjo Wild made a film on Machli titled The World's Most Famous Tiger in 2009. 
टूर ऑपरेटर्स फॉर टाइगर्स टी ओ एफ टी बेस्ट ऑन अपॉन हर लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड फॉर हर कंट्रीब्यूशन टू कंजर्वेशन टू अट्रैक्शन एंड वाइडर राजस्थान इकनॉमी टू ऑनर मछली द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट रिलीज द कम्यूमोरेटिव पोस्टल कवर एंड स्टैम्प विद हर मजेस्टिक फेस ऑन इट she is the only big cat in the world to have her own postal stamp on 19 january 2014 the world's oldest tigress disappeared from her area zone 5 the news shocked not only the officials and visitors of renthambore but also muchly scores of fans across the world renthambore launched a massive hunt 3 weeks passed and there was no sign of her not even pug marks with each passing day hopes of finding her dimmed had she died untraced had she been poached had she been killed by another tiger but one person who refused to give up was forest officer dolat singh he combed the forest day and night confident he would find her On day 26 she appeared out of the blue in the Kachighar fort area looking well oblivious of the annexity she had caused she had been driven out of her territory and had taken refuge in a small valley that she managed to stay alive is proof of her uncanny ability to hunt an incredible zest for life eventually age caught up with her she was not hunting anymore she was spending long hours in the water said a forest guard in nature she would have stayed to death but the forest department wasn't going to allow it they would let her be in renthambore the place she dominated but would provide her with threatened animals she killed them with her powerful jaws after a while she retreated and with great dignity lay down and did not wake up that day was 18 august 2016 the world mourned her death she was given a traditional hindu funeral said kali dublide a carnivore researcher who had studied muchly in an interview to national geographic she was wrapped in white linen and her body was decorated with garlands of flowers the forest guards carried her stretcher on their shoulders and stood at attention when she was cremated the forest department of rajasthan has preserved much live with taxidermy but to go to this extra level and give her an actual true funeral it's a special moment in conservation history